juice, go. I got that juice, juice, go. New AP. She got it, you. That's right. I got you juicy entertainment news for Thursday. You know, it's no secret that Rihanna loves her reality TV and she's a huge fan of the Real Housewives franchise. So it's no surprise that she supported a comment made during a recent episode of the Real Housewives of New York when Ramona Singer attacked fellow castmate um, and said she would never wear Leah McSweeney's famed Married to the Mob street brand. Um, she said, you're not exactly my demographic. Well, McSweeney said, it's all good. I've got Rihanna wearing my stuff. Do you think I need you wearing my stuff? Well, Riri obviously saw the episode and in Riri style quickly reposted the scene and then she posted a picture of herself uh, in Leah's Married to the Mob brand and captured what was said, Ramona Singer. Um, Leah then reposted Riri's post and um, added that Rihanna is a woman who supports women. I just wonder what Ramona has to say about all of that. Every time I think of Ramona, I always think of that scene of her doing the catwalk with her eyes popping out. Yeah, Ramona's special. Um, Rihanna announced a new fragrance line as well from Fenty. She shared a stunning black and white photo with the caption, Fenty Parfum coming soon on the official Fenty Instagram. She said the smell is described as something sensual, confident, yet sexy. And we're also waiting for the Fenty hair care line to drop. She filed a trademark application back in March for a variety of hair products. Usher, he has been performing back-to-back sold-out shows since he kicked off his Las Vegas residency a few weeks ago, but tonight, for the first time since he hit the stage, his audience, audience will have to mask up. All audience members will now be required to wear face masks during all shows in Vegas, vaccinated or not. The governor of Las Vegas has given directives that specifically um, specify that even vaccinated people must cover their nose and mouth with a mask or face covering in a manner consistent with the guidance issued by the CDC. Now, all stage shows in Las Vegas have to follow this new rule, as well as all the nightclubs along the Vegas Strip. Um, and uh, the only persons who do not have to wear masks are the performers and the DJs, but they must be social distancing. Will Smith's got a few major projects under his belt right now. He's been working so hard. Um, he's been working on Fast and Loose, which is an action thriller that he just secured with Netflix. This is huge because this film was apparently in a massive bidding war among other major film companies. So Netflix, they scored big on this one. Um, the film centers around uh, Will Smith's character, John Riley, who wakes up in Tijuana with no re re recollection of being attacked. Um, the plot twists reveal that he was living a life both as an undercover agent and a major criminal kingpin. Uh, it sounds pretty interesting. Now, the film is in addition to another project that Will Smith has been working on for Netflix called Emancipation, which is directed by Antoine Fuqua, along with the sequel to Bright, where he's going to be reprising his role as Daryl Ward. Loved Bright. That was a lot of fun to watch. Um, and he just dropped the trailer for King Richard today, which is the biopic that he's been working on about Venus and Serena's father. Uh, Will Smith plays him in the film and it's expected to hit theaters November 19th and HBO Max for 31 days after the film's release in cinemas. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Thursday. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96.